Welcome back to the Valley today. It's now 622 AM. Well, if you've ever wanted to learn one of society's oldest trade skills today, maybe your lucky day. We are checking in this morning with the Valley today's Morgan Drake. He is live at Leisure Forge in Fargo this morning with a special look at beginning lessons for blacksmithing. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. Yeah, I'm here at Leisure Forge with Levi Jordanstad. Now, we're looking at some of the equipment that beginners can learn to forge on. So can you just walk me through what we're looking at here first? What's on next to you? Yeah, so right here I have, it's a Venturi Propane Forge um, is what we call it. Um, we have two of those that we have here in the shop that students will use. And sometimes we do use the Coal Forge, um, which is kind of more of an authentic antique uh, way of forging. But this is what we use to heat up our metal. Um, and when you pull a piece of steel out of there, tends to be pretty warm and so we'll take that and we'll move towards the forge and uh, we'll take a hammer and some tongs to hang on to it so you don't burn yourself and we use the uh, the anvil and the hammer to move and shape the metal so um, yeah and of course all the students are wearing a you know an apron or close toe shoes and, and a pair of safety goggles just to be sure uh, to be safe so and tell me a little bit about the anvil as well I was asking you before what what makes anvils so special well, they're especially because they're expensive. Uh, well, we can start with that, but uh, um, anvils typically have a hardened surface, um, so as opposed to just some ordinary piece of metal. Um, when you have a hardened surface on the anvil, you can do a lot of that shaping, and we say in blacksmithing that a lot of times when you're hammering, uh, the anvil is doing a lot of the hammering as well, um, just as much as the hammer. So um, that hardened surface really just kind of helps uh, you know, move the material and um, gives a lot of rebound to keep your arm nice and um, light, I guess. And then the very last thing I'll ask about, behind me here, you've got your water bucket. So can you just give me a, a quick demonstration of how, how one of these would work? Yeah, so typically when students, you know, when they're done with their project and they're ready to cool it down so they can touch it and, you know, take it home, um, we have this what's called a quench bucket or a water bucket or as I like to call it a yuck bucket. Um, it's a, a couple year old uh, bucket of water here and students take the, um, use the tongs to lower the metal down into the water and just to cool it down. So. <laughs> so you really would be able to go from forging to taking it home in a, the same yeah. lesson. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, we try to have students, I have some projects that students typically start with um, just to kind of teach them some techniques, but um, towards the end of the class I try to leave some time so students can make something that maybe they're, um, that inspires them or I guess something that they imagined and then um, they can take that home, absolutely. That's all I have for Lesha Forge right now, but coming up, I might actually be able to demonstrate hammering on your own projects. So, back to you in the studio. Okay, looking forward to that check-in. Thank you so much this morning, Morgan. Yeah, and if you want to sign up for classes, all you have to do is visit Leja Forge's website. That's lejaforge.com. You can spell Leja, L-E-S-J-A. Well, the U.S. Air Force is introducing cold weather special duty pay for eligible airmen and guardians. Assigned a basis where weather is expected to drop during winter to below minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit. That includes Minot Air Force Base, Grand Forks Air Force Base, and Cavalier Space Station in North Dakota. U.S. Senator John Hoven says this move is designed to help offset the costs of cold weather gear, including snow tires and engine block heaters. A lot of them come from southern parts of the country. They don't have all the gear we're used to having here up north. So I'm pleased we were able to get this for them. We appreciate them so very much. The special pay is set to begin July 1st. The Air Force says they'll announce how much it's going to be, as well as other details close to that time. North Dakota Game and Fish releasing its new fishing guidelines, and the changes went into effect yesterday. There are a couple of noteworthy changes here to the new rules, like being able to use bows for certain kinds of fish while spearfishing. There's also a new catfish channel limit west of Highway 1, and anglers are now allowed to take catfish home from certain areas of the Missouri River that they catch using a bow or spear. And that is always center stage, is how do you protect the resource, you know, safeguard the resource while at the same time uh, providing ample fishing opportunities. So. You can find the full list of guidelines on the Game and Fish website. Well, the countdown's on. The Minnesota Twins play their first home game of the season this Thursday, and the team is unveiling some new and locally inspired menu and retail items this year as well. New items include a cream smoothie featuring collagen peptides, aloe, strawberry, bananas, and coconut milk. 
Don't worry though, the rest are a little less healthy. <laughs> Smash baked potato with brisket and chili, beer cheese, and other toppings. There's also mac and cheese topped with your choice of chicken, rib tips, or pulled pork, and a s'mores boozy ice cream, plus some fanfare favorites like cheese curds and deep fried Oreos. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Iran is blaming Israel for an airstrike killing at least seven of its military officials. We'll break down the latest out of the Middle East this morning coming up here on the Valley Today. Plus, a look at our morning forecast. Meteorologist Lisa Green joining us here after the break.